Even Elker left town with the Schwab Cup last year. Birdie here at six. Steven playing very nice golf, has a new driver in the bag after the one he was using crack, so. Steven Elker, of course, the man who won the Charles Schwab Cup a year ago, picked up a birdie there. Harrington, the defending champion, Alker took the Schwab Cup right here at Phoenix Country Club. They're both very much in the conversation here on day two. It looks good in his hands. Alker has the tee here at the 13th, playing 187. Full location all the way back today, and that's pretty well done right there by Alker. He's got pretty good look right here. Can be a little aggressive with this one. Yeah. And he was. After the short miss at 12, gets the uphiller that he can fire in on 13 and makes that. 16, another short par four on the back nine for Alker. Oh, and that's really well played. That's a nice shot. Controlled his trajectory, drove it in there, spin, kept it down. One. Up to 16. This is a clean birdie look for Alker. Yay. Not going to let that one get away. Back to 10 under and back into a share of the lead. Can he just follow suit with a nice wedge? Pretty big swing again. He makes some big swings at these wedges. He needs to stay there. It did. Got an uphill look. That's an excellent play right there. Alker for a closing birdie, a round of 64, and the lead. Yes. What a finish. That's some round of golf for Stephen Alker. We've We've seen some great golf today, boy. Crank up some highlights, Stephen Alker, par five opening hole. Yeah, not a good tee shot, so he had to lay up with his second, but a wonderful third makes up for it, isn't that, to about two feet. Well, Alker up at the fourth for another birdie from close range. Yeah, really nice shot in here for Alker. This is a tough hole location, the back of the green, and he cans that putt to... Spent some time working on his putting. And I don't think that was his best putt, but he got in the edge. And that's where speed helps. You get the right pace, it will make that hole bigger. Yeah, it's going to take two of his best to get there, but might as well. I always felt like in a situation like this, you might as well give the tee shot all you got because if you don't get it, you're going to lay up anyway. And I don't think he caught that. Well, the good indication was that ball did not roll out at no. all. T shot that he didn't catch on the button. Now 271 to the front here for Alker. Whoa, this starts way left. Actually, he's cutting back, Lanny. That was yeah. an interesting shot there. Yeah, I don't know that he meant to hit it like that. If it stops just right there, it's a third for Alker. Pulled up just short of the bunker here at seven. Yeah, coming off a tight lie. He has to come over the edge of the bunker. Didn't catch it, Billy Ray. I think he kind of popped up in the air on him. I don't think that was what he had in mind. To the seventh for the Alker birdie putt. Yeah, a lot longer than what he anticipated after yeah. that second shot, but nonetheless makes birdie, man. He's got it. Just trying to fit the ball in the fairway. As Laney says, you put the ball in play here, turns into a birdie opportunity for sure. He picked up the tee quickly, moved away. He liked it right down the middle, no problem with these shots here. I might want to see him open up a little bit, he, but he, he hits such a penetrating shot with a lot of spin. This is... You know, the thing he does, Billy Ray, you're very, you're right. He does set up very square, but when you look at him from behind, his alignment is left of the flag. Do it! Do it! Oh, yeah, beauty. Just beautiful roll there for Steven Alka. Just he, felt like it was time to see another one go down. Yeah, there. he just looks like he is so in control of, of that shot in which he's trying to hit. Yeah, Billy Ray, I would, I would bet the left side of this tee has been the most unused piece of ground at Phoenix Country Club this week. <laughs> I would say that's pretty good. This is down the right. It should find the fairway. And it does. That's an excellent tee shot by Alker. His golf swing is made for shots like this. Pretty much all over the flag. What a great shot. Just what a play there, Lanny, especially coming off the bogey back at 13. Well, yeah, it seems like he's just been right there almost every week. And pretty simple look right here. No, no problem. problem. Yeah, another birdie for Alker, 16 under. 
And the lead has ballooned to four. 287 will carry the bunker on the right. 318 oh. to the bunker on the left. I think he hammered that one. Oh, and just skirts that yes. bunker on the right-hand side. All good now. That was beauty. That was a great swing. There's a guy trusting the way he's swinging right now. And that's all over it. Headed just a little bit left. Oh, it caught the... I thought it was cutting in there. It looks... Oh, yeah. That was really special. You know, I'm really surprised that ball didn't run out a bit more I and got too. even closer. Yeah. Is exactly what we have right now in Stephen Alker. Oh, 100%. And Justin is putting stroke as well. He yes. was solid. Really well played hole there at 18 by Stephen Alker, and that's a spectacular, easy looking round of 65. How about those three rounds produced by the reigning Charles Schwab Cup champion? So Padraig got to, to 14 under. Alker did birdie the third. That helped the cause. Yeah, good putt here. Just grips it over the center. Birdie the Looks good right here. That wasn't as on top as we saw it yesterday. And there's a result. He's hooked it left. So you start getting that club underneath. It goes right and can go left. So he's done both now. Uh, Alker from the bunker at nine now. Yeah, good lie. 110 front. And the lip of the bunker didn't cause any issues because of that number 133 total. And good what shot. a play, Lanny. Yeah, that was a good strike. That was right on top of it, too, Billy Ray. He's got the irons on top of it, looking like he's, sw he's swinging like he wants to. The drive. Stephen Alker for birdie at the ninth to get 18 under. In a perfect position after a wonderful fairway bunker shot. Oh, yeah. Here we oh, go. Oh, my. Well, Billy Ray, he told you he's going to get the second nine today. Maybe this is the start of it right here at nine. What a... And yeah. that's going right at it. Talking about decision time, and he made it, and that is going to that bunker on the left-hand side. Knees hold off. It did. Not what stance you would take, Lanning? Yeah, I think he's laying up. Uh, it's just whatever. Had he been really cooking today like he was yesterday, then maybe take a run at it. After choosing the layup here at 18, Alker ready for his third. Perfect lie, just 80 yards left here for Steven. Needs to be left and short. Oh, and it's right and long. What is he thinking? My goodness. Pretty well done. He's still got a little work, though. Mm. It's not dead yet. was a hard fault win for Steven Alker. I'll give him credit. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I dropped the putter on that one. I would at least uh, enjoy the win, but that was a lot of work, a he lot of unnecessary work. Had to sweat it out, but Steven Alker takes down the season-ending Charles Schwab Cup championship.